G'day everyone, and welcome back to yet another Trimmer Attachment Review. So far on this channel, we've looked at the wire brush attachment and found it to be somewhat lacking, and the six tooth attachment, which we found to be quite versatile. But today, let's crack into the somewhat beastly looking chain trimmer. As you can see, I purchased this item as usual, off of eBay for $26, and got it in a few days. For some reason, the sellers of this listing have since hiked the price right up over 100 bucks, but there are many others available for what I paid, and I guess my sellers are just waiting on new stock to land in Australia. Looking at the listing, I was most impressed with the fact that the kit sold was supplied with a few adapting washers and shims to help mount up to the shaft on a variety of different brush cutters. Supplying with these puts this head a cut above. So what do we get? Opening the packaging, we're greeted with the box that ensures us that they've shipped the correct item to us. then opening the box, and we're into it. Immediately, we can see that this trimmer head is a little more complex than the others tested with this bottom guard section that's held on by hex head bolts. And here's the rest of the mounting equipment. So, let's look at the scary part, the chain. In the ad, this does look like one of the more dangerous attachments that you can buy, and this could still prove to be true. But the chain links themselves are not sharpened like they would be on an actual chainsaw, and I think generally the idea behind this is that when you attack woodier plants with them, the uh, chain will first flail around the stems and then shred through them, literally ripping them apart. Yeah, don't hit your toes with this one. So, now for the first big test. Can we mount it up? Well, after removing our other head, we first need to remove the cover. Then we can mount the head and sit it on the retained washer on my steel gear head. Then we can insert this adapter. Another washer. And the spindle nut. Then we just screw the guard back on. And we're done. So for the first time, we can mount up a head with no fuss. Let's see how it gets on outside. So, here's the first start. It's probably worth pointing out, I've traded in my brown low-cut boots everyone seemed to love from the other videos for a pair of steel caps for peace of mind. On startup, the first thing I notice is that there's a touch more vibration as the head spins up, but this isn't a surprise because this trimmer head is also the heaviest that's been on this machine. At higher revs, however, the chain balances out quite nicely, and the first test of short grass is absolutely no hurdle. Then onto some soft weeds, which again just get munched up. Oh, 
I'll point out though that the heavier head does take a bit more effort to control. But as you can see here, you can still work quickly if you need to. So now something more of a test. Long, wet, thick grass and some more shrubby weeds. You can see I cut this lantana in two ways. First, what I like to call the nibble just slowly moving the head into the stem, which eventually works. Then, the bash. Remember, for the woody stuff, it's all about getting the momentum of this heavy head up and letting the chain wrap around and literally rip the heart out of the stems as you cut through them. But here's something to note. The head doesn't really like the long grass. It clogs more easily than the six blade head, and this isn't too surprising. The chains don't effectively cut the grass, they catch on it and rip it apart, which seems to allow the grass to then get tangled and wound around the head of the brush cutter. Straight off the bat, I can tell you, if this is the job you need doing, then this isn't the head for you. But if you need to cut into woody stems, well, I think you've found the sweet spot and you can see you can just swing into them and cut through, which can save a lot of time. Now onto the lantana test, and as you'll see, the head goes a long way to smash it up. But be careful, because the force this head generates is enough to send the bigger stuff flying. If you were planning on spending a decent amount of time doing this thing, I'd uh, get yourself a hard hat and face shield, and I'd certainly be mindful of hitting rock. So, summing up, we found that the chain trimmer head looks like a beast and acts like one too. It's the big blunt hammer just looking for a nail. And it'll make short work of anything soft or hard alike. Would I call it a good all-rounder? Well, probably not because of the poor performance in the long, thick grass. But if you want to bust some scrub and don't have a slasher, this is the attachment to get it done.